Thank you. <coughs> Your Excellency Ambassador Konjic, my co panelists here, uh, His Excellency uh, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, and uh, His Excellency Mr. Richard, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, uh, Africa. Africa, Hamjambo, Bonsoir. Salam alaikum, Rahmatullah, Ta'ala wa Barakat. Boa noite. I am delighted to have opportunity today to stand before you as the son of Africa. I was uh, born uh, in Kenya, but I'm told that my grandparents came from the Sudan. I am uh, a father of four, a grandfather of five, and a husband of one that I know of. I am an engineer by profession, and I have been an academ uh, academic I have also been a public servant. I've been a member of parliament. I've also been a prime minister and also leader of opposition. Uh, in those capacities, I've tried to do my best and I've gained a lot of experience in terms of management of public affairs. I stand here as an Pan-Africanist and an Afro-optimist. Two months ago, that is on the 21st of October, this year we were here in Addis Ababa. We had been invited as members of the families of the founding fathers of the African Union uh, to come and witness the reopening of the Africa Hall. That's the hall where the OAU <coughs> was launched in 1963. And we're happy to be here with Madam Ambassador Konjit, who was there as a young girl at that time. It is now 61 years since the launch of the Organization of African Unity. And at that time, if you read the, 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 the speeches of the founding fathers on that day, they were very passionate, and all of them talked about African unity. Where there was a difference was when do we achieve this unity? There are those who under the school of thought that the unity now. And those who said, no, we need to be gradual in this. Let us first build the building blocks, the regional unions, which will eventually translate into formation of the African Union as a, as a, as a, a whole. But now we have come up, they came up 50 years later with Vision uh, 60, uh, uh, 2063, which now hopes to get Africa united, one union government by 2030, and move on to attain the vision, the wishes of the founding fathers of Africa. I say that I have the experience I've been part of this movement for changing the continent. You know that some achievements have been made. Africa is now completely liberated, but there's still work to do. And I believe that I have what it takes to get us where we want to do. In the field of education, in the field of, of health, in the field of value addition to the abundant uh, wealth that we have on the continent in the field of trade, into African trade. I have act, acted as the African Union High Representative on Infrastructure. 